mainly at African artwork, so I have a lot of books on just pure African artwork, and it kind of gives you the meaning behind whether this is like a certain faith of a god or a fertility goddess or something like that. So I do a lot of research into that. Uh, like I said, the mythology, I looked into, of course, the, the Egyptian Book of the Dead, uh, I have a very old copy of that. Wow. That gave me, uh, that passed, he passed it down to me, so I was kind of, I read into that story, like learning all the gods and goddesses from there. So I kind of try to incorporate those bits and pieces of that. So, um, got another question. What makes a African-centered world distinct from, say, a Eurocentric type world when you, when you're building it? I mean, we're still talking about like when you're building one based on culture and maybe the past or something. Like right. That. Well, I would say the the cultures are very dramatically different, and you kind of have to learn it because I mean, let's be honest, we've all been we were raised here in the United States. We've kind of been raised under Western culture, so sometimes uh, you have to do a little more research into the cultural practices. Of practices of African people to see that it's a lot different from what we're used to. Like even just the whole idea of uh, two grown men holding hands. Like here we would see that and like expect it to be two gay men, but in Africa it's a little bit more common for two grown men to hold hands when they're going somewhere by themselves. And if you, as far as the whole polygamy thing, it's not always a sexual relationship either. Sometimes it's just uh, your brother's, your brother died and you have to take care of his family. So it's like that. It's like, like sometimes we put so much Western ideas on them, what might be in Africa. It might just be, like I said, you're just taking care of your brother's family that after he died. Like people here will put like a sexual connotation on things, saying, I have all the women in the world or something like that. So it's not, you gotta do your research as far as the culture stuff. Do you think, um, was it difficult for you to kind of separate your Western mind from, you know, and to, to get into these cultures and write that way? You find yourself sometimes writing and saying, okay, you know, thinking you, you look, go back and look at it and say, well, you know, really, that wouldn't happen in that. Um, not so much, because I guess maybe because I've just been, I've been a little bit more immersed into that way of thinking, because I, I come from a, I guess my family's pretty uh, normal, but like my brother was always more on the middle of his side, I guess I would say. So, <laughs> like I said, he passed on a lot of books, and I watched a lot of, uh, VHSs of Dr. John Henry Clark and uh, Dr. Ben and uh, Dr. Khaled Muhammad. So I, I kind of got a lot of that stuff from him already when I was a teenager. So it kind of prepared my mind for when I got an adult to write my own fiction. So. When, um, one of the, that was one of the biggest things to me is if I was writing something that was going to be Afrocentric, that I stay true to the cultures right. um, and the reactions of the cultures, which means that. Um, I couldn't think it, I couldn't think about it from a Western standpoint, from a Western point of view, you know. And I had to be able to. Um, so some of the decisions that would be made in the, in the story, um, from a Western connotation, people might say, "Oh, well, I mean, you know, that that you know that's not right" or something like that. But um, from the culture's point of view, it made perfect sense. Um, right. I'll I'll be, I'll be honest. I actually toned down some of my stuff because. I wanted to reach a Western audience, and I felt like, okay, if I go hardcore in this, you know, people aren't going to really relate to it. So what I need to do is I need yeah. to, pardon? Make an example. <laughs> <laughs> um, there were there were some some parts of uh, an African spirituality is different depending on what part of Africa you are. Um, there are some things that are common. I actually um, one of the first books I read, I can't remember the, the author who wrote it. I think his last name was Mbuzi. But his book was called um, African Religion. And he, the first thing he acknowledged, he said, well, you know, there's a, there's a numerous